Australia's F-111 fleet flies into the history books today. It's the last F-111 squadron operating anywhere in the world, but after 37 years, the supersonic fighter bombers are going into retirement. Reporter Donna Field is at the Amberley Air Force Base, west of Brisbane. It's been an emotional day for the squadron, for the former pilots and co-pilots, all the families involved, the community of Ipswich, which has housed this squadron for nearly 40 years, and for the families of the people who have flown the aircraft, particularly the families of 10 pilots and co-pilots who died in accidents. Uh, Air Commodore Peter Grouder was speaking with me about how he brought these aircraft to Australia in 1973, and then in 1978 he was involved in an accident in a training exercise where he successfully ejected the cockpit and survived and he says today for him is a very historic and sad day. Um, it's a huge family, the F-111 family and today I think we'll remember the good times, those who are not with us and I think that's where the mixed emotions come in. But Donna, the F-111s haven't actually seen much active duty. Well, no, they have never fired a shot in combat, but during their lengthy military uh, history, it's been described by aviation buffs and military buffs as a distinguished career because they've served in peacekeeping operations and they've been involved in training exercises. There have been five aircraft that have crashed and, uh, as I said before, ten people have died. But they say, on the whole, this aircraft has proved itself time and time again and it was bought as a deterrent uh, in the uh, 70s and they say that it served that purpose well. You mentioned it's a day of mixed emotions. Some people are still living with the health problems caused by these planes. Look, the people who serviced these planes, they did the de-seal and reseal of the fuel tanks of the F-111s, have ongoing health problems. And it's been the subject of inquiries. And it's still outstanding as to a lot of people aren't satisfied with the compensation they've received. So this is an ongoing issue. So for them, it will be a day tinged with uh, mixed emotions, I'm sure, because it brings back all those memories. And they're living with the health effects from servicing these jets. Donna Field, thanks for joining us. Thank you.